framework for system design thinking. And this framework is called the DESA framework, right? Number one is define what the problem is. Number two is analyze the constraints. Number three is sketch the system. Number four is evaluate what the trade-offs are. And number five is refine for scale. So let's think about it in this way. Because what I'm trying to do is create a structured methodological approach to system design. How do we guide ourselves through all the different considerations from what the initial problem is to what that scalable solution will be, right? So the first thing we are gonna do with this framework is we are gonna define the problem, right? So the first question is, what is the fundamental challenge that we're trying to address, right? So we're gonna define what the problem is. We're gonna clarify what the functional and non-functional requirements are and what the stakeholders' expectations are. Once we can do these three things, right, we have defined the problem. And then we move on to analyze the different constraints that we have. Now, in terms of analyzing different constraints, here is what comes into place. You identify your technical limitations. You identify what your budget restrictions are. You look at the timeline pressures. What are the regulatory demands that would shape this design? Give examples. If you identify your technical limitations, what are your technical limitations, right? Some of your technical limitations could be um, who is on my team. The people on my team are C Sharp or .NET developers. None of them are good at JavaScript. Right? That could be a technical limitation. Budget lim restrictions could be, for example, for technology, we're giving $50,000 a year for all our, our not, or everything that we're going to do on the back end, all our servers, all our security mechanisms, everything, whether our Azure, AWS, Whatever we are doing, all the subscriptions we have for the whole year, we're paying $50,000. How do we manage that? There is also timeline pressures. Timeline pressures in terms of how we want to deliver, right? And then you have your regulatory demands. In the UK, we have um, different bod governing bodies for the different markets that we have. You also, in Nigeria, you also have different governing bodies 